Hello again, Max Hardigan here. Um, this is part 12 of the walkthrough for Final Fantasy VI for the PS1. Um, last time we left off, I was trying to get those bandanas, you know, um, trying to steal three, of course, from the from the brawlers. These guys look like kung fu guys. Um, wasn't able to, I wasn't, I wasn't successful, got too frustrating, so I, I'm not gonna bother getting those, so we're just gonna get to go on to the walkthrough. And, uh, if you can, go ahead, take the time if you wanna do that, but just know that you can steal bandanas from those guys. If you can't, then you'll be able to buy some. So, uh, we got to that first cave, and now we're out here, and as you can see, there's a chest down there on the bottom right, but we're gonna, can't get that right now. But there's a little entrance in here. Down here, there's a little south entrance you can go through, and that's where we can be able to get the chest. So that's what we're gonna do. And there's the brawlers again. And they're only, uh, they only seem to come out in the cave areas. So, uh... Be aware of that. That's when you're gonna see them. The Tuskers and, and uh... I think it's the flying guys getting their names, but uh, they come out like when you're outside. As you know, I'm still trying to steal here, but I'm still fighting at the same time, so. I always thought that sometimes if you got them weak enough that on some enemies, you can, it makes it easier to steal, but I guess you really can't quote me on that. But I, I think I've read that somewhere. Yeah, these guys make it pretty damn impossible to steal from them. Just real stubborn assholes. Yes, there's one. Alrighty. I feel so much better now. Well, I got one bad at least. And let's uh, go ahead and knock him out here if we can. Don't be too uh, greedy with using the cures with Terra. I mean, that's what she's there for, kind of, because there's a lot of enemies on this damn mountain. It's a uh, snow picnic. They're not necessarily hard, you just gotta know what to do at the right time. Alright, well at least I got one bit of den out of this fight. Okay. And this chest here should contain a guardian, I believe. Yes. And I'm gonna give this one to uh give this one to uh Lock. It's gonna which is why I gave, I bought the Wriggle Cutlass and gave it to Terra and just gave him the little meat on that. Because we were going to use so shortly. So now he can get his good stuff and not feel left out. So, here you go, Lock. We'll hook you up. Some good stuff. There we go. And this one's a stat booster also. So, like, it's, it's, it's a great little goodie um, this early on in the game. So we're just going to go back up here and then uh, go back up in the, the top here and then uh, we're going to head up. Oh, and I forgot, yeah, if I hit X, I can walk fast. Yes, but you can always remember that. Hit X and you can walk fast. No need for the sprint shoes. But I do have them, so I am sprinting, but you can double sprint. 
FPS version, so that's great. One of the reasons why I prefer to play this version over this SNES version. But they're both masterpieces because it is the same game. It's just little add little additions, little add-ons. Speaking of which, I forgot to uh, equip that bandana to somebody. I think I'll get the lock since he's doing all the hard work for stealing. I mean, he could do better. But hey, what, what do you expect? It's going to be a challenge. I'm gonna try to stick from the bottom down this time. Let's just uh, see how that goes. I mean, I have one more hit, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Doesn't matter who hits him. I'm gonna give it a couple more tries, see how it goes. If not, no big deal. One bit down is fine, like I said. I'm satisfied while he's getting that. You should feel accomplished, you really should when you actually steal from these guys. Give it a couple more goes. If, no, if not, then no big deal. We'll move on. Get this damn walk to going again. It's just me being uh, a little stubborn. Kind of adamant and wanting to grab this damn thing. No dice. Okay, we're just gonna off this guy. Probably you're just wasting my time, buddy. I fell off my screen. We'll just take your money and your experience. And gain a level. Okay, see, so there's two exits here. This one also leads to a chest, I believe. Oh no, that's the way I came in. Duh. My mistake. <laughs> I should have known that. And that's what happens when you play these games for so many years. You know what, actually, this is where, uh, I'm gonna fight him first. Get a couple hits. I did actually miss a passive blade. Passive blade is right before those steps, I believe, and I'm gonna go back to that when I get out of this fight. Yay, there's two bandanas. All right, now I can kill these guys. Good. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Now, we're just going to... Now, you know what? I'm using that. No, I'm just going to fight. I'll use some tools right here. All right. Here you go. See? Okay. Edgar, I mean, my goodness, he's, a total, he's just a total badass. I don't know why this guy can't get a woman. I really don't. But before we go back out this entrance, I believe there's a hidden entrance over here where I can get the Atlas armlet. It's over here. Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, there it is. I should have known that. Uh, what am I doing going to hide? Yeah, up this way we're gonna there's a hidden like that was the hidden passage and we're gonna get that another chest with a container apple song. It's just as good as the no, it's better than the hyper wrist, but it works the same way. And it boosts your stat a stat used for physical damage calculation by 50%. So that's a dope thing. It's a good thing to uh it comes in handy. 
Probably gonna give it to... Well, I guess, yeah, I'll probably just give it the last. No, never mind. I think I'm gonna give give it to... Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Edgar, actually. Because it's gonna boost his auto crossbow, which is already badass, so, like, you know, why not? So here it is, and, uh... They will let me get to it. They're being really... They're mad that I found their little hidden entrance. I guess those little treasure hunters don't want me stealing their stuff. I always hold my breath when I try to stay there. It's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm good. Like, that really helps. But tell me who's not guilty of that. Just from playing any kind of game. I'll give it one more go. See if I, see if I can steal from this guy. Okay, let's just beat him up. So I want to get that, I want to get that damn uh, Atlas omelet that I want to give uh, good old Edgar, so we can boost that uh, kick ass out of crossbow of his. All right. Well, while we're doing this, we're also gonna equip those uh, those two bandanas. I guess I'll give it to Tara and, and Locke. See, since she's the lower level of the level, I, I prefer to give it to her, at least for right now. If I can, that is. I should be able to, yeah. Cool. And Relic, let's give that to Edgar. And take off the Hyperus. Give her the Atlas Helmet. And here we go. Well, that's it for this video. Um, join me for the next, where we'll take on the rest of my cults and um, get to the bottom of why everyone's missing. Until then, I'll see. I'll say game on and good, good hunting, <laughs> good gaming, and everything like that. And I'll see you soon. Max Hargan signing off. Peace.